Media. Le monde, c'est nous. Afrique Média. Le monde, c'est nous. Le monde, c'est nous. Hello, beautiful people of Africa and of the world at large. Welcome uh, to yet another edition of the uh, program Views on uh, the uh, Continent on the Pan African Television. We have come again to discuss uh, what is happening across the African continent, looking at how uh, the uh, changes that have occurred in the uh, global world actually affecting uh, governance in Africa. And we're here to ask the question on how. African governments can reshape their governance system to meet, of course, uh, the changing uh, uh, politics at uh, the international arena. This is views on the continent. And of course, uh, we start by asking uh, this question. Uh, where does Africa stand in attaining good governance and democratic institutions? According to a report, uh, which was released in 2019 by uh, the uh, Mo Ibrahim Foundation, African governments Governments recorded enormous strides in ensuring uh, governance, especially uh, around uh, socio-economic development, uh, though the report highlighted uh, that aspects like democracy and uh, political governance uh, uh, performed law, economic development, management, and uh, corporate uh, governance, according to the report, uh, equally uh, witnessed uh, some gains. Uh, now, uh, uh, the question is, uh, uh, however, this question has, has again come to uh, the limelight or to the fore, as uh, major changes in the world have redefined uh, global politics or international politics, which have uh, a direct or indirect uh, uh, impact on the, the government system uh, not just uh, uh, around the world but particularly in Africa and we are still asking the questions uh, how does the African continent position uh, its server uh, at the international air arena and uh, what form of governance suits the present content uh, context that would ensure uh, accountability transparency uh, responsiveness the role of law enclosure stability equity and uh, uh, inclusiveness, empowerment, and of course, broad based participation, all this uh, lie around uh, the governance uh, structure or system. And uh, that is what we are discussing this day on the program Views on the Continent. For uh, one hour, we're going to analyze uh, uh, what governance is, uh, the governance system in Africa, and of course, to see if there is need for the continent to reshape or to redefine its governance system, given the changes which have occurred at uh, the uh, uh, international arena. And of course, uh, uh, without uh, wasting time, uh, I'll be glad to introduce to you uh, the panel that will give more insight or analysis on this very important topic based on governance and we know that good governance of course will promote development will of course be uh, a way towards solving the problems or crisis uh, affecting countries across Africa and today we are going to South Africa uh, to meet uh, Mr. Good News uh, uh, Kadogan he's a Pan-African leadership coach hello to you sir and thanks for joining us this day taking this opportunity to wish you a happy new year 2023 and welcome good day uh, Clarice and uh, to my fellow panelists Francis and to the listeners across the world I feel great to be here 
Indeed, uh, it is great to be with you again to discuss this very important uh, topic, uh, governance in Africa, and how the African governments can reshape their governance to meet the changing times. In uh, going now to Nigeria, we are meeting Mr. Francis Umendiego. He's a governance policy researcher and project management expert. Hello to you, sir. Thanks for joining joining us this day and wishing you, to you a happy new year 2023 thank you for having me i'm very happy to be part of this um, um robust discussion thank you viewers thank you for having me and a happy new year to everyone i wish you a very good one and um, i say compliments of the season to everyone thank you you too for accepting to be with us uh, this day to continue to talk very important issues that will go a long way to transform the African continent. Diving straight away to the analysis, let me start with you, uh, Mr. Kedogan. We're talking today about Africa reshaping uh, its governance system or its governance, but then before looking at that, let's understand uh, uh, what governance is all about, bringing it uh, uh, or relating it with the, the African continent. That is very good, uh, and, and I'm happy to, to take the first bite of this debate because uh, when we look at governance, it is a basket of things. Uh, it's about saying, from a government point of view, how much of what we put in as public office bearers uh, to serve the public that we represent, as opposed to serving uh, uh, foreign interests, so to speak. Because at the end of the day, it's the people that elect government. And government is supposed to actually, through the public office bearers, to serve the interests of the people. And uh, there are a few kind of categories of uh, uh, this thing that uh, we refer to as governance. And one of them is to serve uh, under the burner of environmental uh, challenges. And secondly, it's about social challenges and, and how we lead uh, in the context of geopolitics. So you find that some governments still have uh, some linkages to former uh, uh, colony, uh, colonial masters, where they're still paying uh, some kind of uh, tax or revenue or whatever it is that they pay, uh, thereby diverting uh, whatever comes out of the resources that they uh, have in the country towards their former colonial masters. And one of the biggest, biggest challenges, even bigger than that, is the fact that the colonial value chains have never been broken. So there is uh, a lot of uh, uh, getting resources from the ground on the continent and exporting these resources without actually uh, beneficiating them. So that in the end, the return on investment for the resources that have is a kind of a pittance. And not only are we uh, exporting these resources in their raw form, we are also exporting jobs that would otherwise have been on the continent had we had a longer value chain of value adding so that in the end, the young Africans who are now even at the, at, at the level of uh, more than 50% uh, in the age group of 18 to 35, uh, being unemployed. So that is uh, the kind of a basket of challenges that I believe uh, fall under this uh, thing called governance from a government point of view. Thank you for that. Uh, I'll be coming to you subsequently, uh, Mr. Kedogan, for us to continue to understand or analyze uh, the governance lapses uh, and how uh, African governments or stakeholders can ensure that uh, the reshape, you made mention of the aspect of uh, how uh, the uh, geopolitics around the world is actually affecting the governance system in Africa. I will come out with you, uh, Mr. Francis. Uh, we heard in the preamble, like uh, according to a report, the first governance uh, report uh, uh, released by the Mo Ibrahim Foundation, that was in 2019, we saw some, uh, of course, of positive uh, strides recorded by African continents regarding governance, but he made mention of the fact that there is lack in democracy and political governance. And today we want to discuss further the governance structure or system in Africa. As a governance expert, so what do you think uh, 
can now be done uh, at this juncture to reshape uh, the governance system or structure across Africa to meet uh, the, the challenges or the, the international, the changes or the drastic shift at the international arena regarding politics and uh, governance as a whole. Thank you. Thank you for having me once again. Um, thank you for that question. Can you hear me clearly? Unfortunately, yeah, we are having some interruptions. I'll be coming back to you, Mr. Francis. Just to remind our viewers joining us this day or this time that uh, this is uh, the program Views on the Continent on the Pan-African Television. And we are analyzing governance system or structure in Africa, looking at how African governments are ready to reshape the governance system to meet uh, the uh, uh, international uh, the challenges or the changes at the international arena. If it's uh, all good with Mr. Francis, we can write on uh, with uh, the, the question on, on how uh, African governments can, of course, uh, uh, reshape the governance system across countries in Africa. Differences and variations, but generally, there are characteristics you can see in them. You see, you see primitive accumulation of wealth by politicians using state resources. You, you also see, um, you also see weak uh, and then you see a lot. Now, going back to the report you talked about, yes, there has been there has been a, a tremendous improvement in, in 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 governance across African countries, uh, especially in areas of um um you know. Let me put it this way: globalization has made it easy. There are a lot of things that has come in in our in our governance processes you talk about budget before it wasn't so sophisticated as it is now you see people making good policies having uh, robust um, contributions and uh, policy directions that government leverage on you see literally technology coming in but then those things are not really translating to development that's the issue they are not really... okay can i continue the, those those issues are not really uh, I'm translating to development, and they are not really making the the life of the common man so enjoyable and so at ease. That those are the issues. So the, the the report is correct to say that there has been development, but then also the report noted that there are, on the issue of democratization that um, African governance processes has not been so uh, um, desirable. I agree partly with with that assertion that we have not been so much um, democratic. But then the question is, is the goal for African societies to become democratic or is the goal for African society to develop? If the goal is for us to develop, then is democracy the way for us to develop? If yes, what aspect of democracy? So I don't want us to focus so much on how, how well we have done or we have performed in trying to democratize governance process in Africa. I would rather want us to, to be focused on how has this helped the, the, the social development, the uh, socioeconomic realities and exigencies of the ordinary African person. So I will stop here for now. I hope I've answered that question, but just take, take this from me. The focus is not how well we have democratized, but how well we have the democracy or other forms of government to achieve development for our society. So I will stop here for now. Thank you. That's, that's a very good uh, problematic, of course, to reckon on. How well is it democracy or how well has the governance system ensured democracy or the development of the African continent? And, of course, uh, uh, we are to look at uh, the 